Eva. I'm Ben. I'm Madison. I'm Drew. We're the Disaster Dodgers. And we're here to help you. Be prepared. Once in a while, something happens that you weren't expecting. Very funny, Drew. <laughs> but if you're prepared for it, you'll know what to do. The same goes for a disaster. A disaster is something that could hurt a lot of people, cause damage, or cut off the electricity, phones, or water across a large area. Like when a hurricane caused our town to lose power for four days. Or when we got snowed in by the blizzard. And we didn't have to go to school for two weeks. Yes! There are other things that are bad or dangerous too, like hazards and emergencies. A hazard is a source of danger. For example, a pile of dried out wood near a gas can that's right next to a home would be a fire hazard. And fast rushing water over a road poses a flood hazard. How about an emergency? Like when I'm starving and I need a burger now? A real emergency is something that happens to an individual or a small group of people. Like a home fire, where you have to call 911 for help. 911, what's your emergency? How is an emergency different from a disaster? A disaster affects a lot of people and causes a lot of emergencies. Whether it's a disaster, emergency, or hazard, we all need to be prepared. And now, with the help of some very special guests, we're going to show you the kinds of disasters you need to prepare for, starting with fire. Whoa! And severe weather. Really, really bad weather. Like a tornado, or a hurricane. Or extreme cold. Or extreme heat. And there's another kind of disaster. An attack by giants? Earthquakes. Don't those just happen in California? Ha! Actually, they can happen almost anywhere in the country. Okay, we get the idea, Quake. All kinds of disasters can and do happen at any time and anywhere. Luckily, there are two really important things you and your family can do to get ready for one. First, have your family make a family communications plan. That way, everyone in your family will know what to do when a disaster comes and how to get in touch with each other. Like sending texts when phone lines are busy and calls don't go through. I am safe at Brian's house. Second, Make sure your family puts together a family emergency kit. Fill it with everything your family would need if you suddenly had no access to food, water, power, or shelter. Your family's kit may need special items, like medication. And don't forget to check on family members and neighbors who may need help in a disaster. So talk to your family about making a plan and emergency kit. I'm gonna do it tonight. Always remember, when it comes to disasters, Be informed. Make a plan. Get prepared. And go to ready.gov to find out more.